Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual here with Alexis Plattis from BAM's East Region Public Finance Group. We're going to talk today about the St. Clair County Board of Education's upcoming sale of two series of bonds for the City of Moody School District in Alabama, uh, totaling $59 million across those two series. Uh, the bonds will be underwritten by Raymond James and carry underlying ratings of A from Standard & Poor's and A1 from Moody's Investor Service. Alexis, thanks for taking some time to be here today. You're welcome. Um, so as we take a look at these two series, there are two different revenue streams securing uh, each series of bonds. You know, take a step back and how is the board going to generate revenues to repay them? Sure. So for the first series, um, the series A, the special tax warrants, uh, actually within the school board there is a city, the city of Moody's, who has decided that on their own they're going to levy 15 mils uh, of ad valorem tax and that millage is going to generate uh, enough revenues to cover debt service for those bonds. Those bonds specifically the, as I said, the 23As will fund um, some facilities in the district, a new high school and among other things. But they've basically gone out and decided that um, they want to leverage their own tax and uh, bond against it. And so- And that was voter approved. Correct. And so the other deal, the, the other issuance, the series 20, 23B, bonds um, are for the school board as well. They're both issued by the school board, but these will be um, funded by the sales tax of the county. Uh, also funding facilities of school uh, school buildings within the county, but this is not specific to uh, the Moody's school district, which is within the county. Got it. And the larger of those two, the, the special tax bond series A is 38 million and the smaller one is about 21 million, uh, the sales tax bonds. So let's start uh, and, and dive into the credit analysis of the special tax bonds. So what are the key credit factors that you were looking at when you start to analyze the issue? Sure. So when we look at um, the special tax bonds, they are secured by an ad valorem tax. So we are looking at the property tax base uh, for the city of Moody in particular and their ability to generate uh, revenues off of the tax base. So um, it's a pretty easy analysis in terms of sort of um, how much money can you generate off of, of X amount of taxable value. But further than that, we'd look at um, the major property tax payers and ultimately the affordability of uh, the, the tax rate. So can the, can the folks that live there um, repay the debt? And those demographics in terms of household income, in terms of population, are also important to the sales tax bonds. What else do you look at when you, when you take the specific look at the sales tax bonds? Sales tax, similar in concept. Um, you're kind of looking at also the generator. So who is, who's generating the tax? You know, are they predominantly um, general retailers? What are the collection levels historically? Is there a long uh, trend of stability and growth? And in fact, you see just that. And I would also note that the um, the tax base and the in the county itself and the wealth levels you had mentioned are quite strong. And so over time, the, the fiscal condition of the board is also important uh, because that's, it's going to affect the ability to repay these bonds. When you took a look at that, what did you learn? Yeah, I think overall, um, the school board was able to generate Two and a half million of surplus um, on their operating expenses in 2022 on a budgetary basis, and that actually um, kind of fits nicely with the additional debt service in aggregate and how much they're they're bringing on uh, overall. So they are in really good shape uh, financially. Well, thanks for the time today, and uh, thanks for uh, talking about this transaction. Have a great day.